Lloyd's uh, merger, it appears that you and Sir Victor acted as a team in this area. Sir Victor is now gone and you are still standing. Should you not have offered your resignation at the same time as Sir Victor so that there could be a clean start? It's according to the same NAO report, had formed the view that temporary public ownership of HVOS was a possible last resort solution. Had the Did the government and the tripartite authorities hoodwink you on the 16th of September? Or did you hoodwink your shareholders? Which is it? Legal responsibility for the prospectus. Why should shareholders not have been given the actual figure of 25 billion? To somebody else as you've just been given. Did you give it? Um, you've used in response to the issue of disclosures the phrase thorough and appropriate repeatedly, almost as if you've been briefed to do so by a lawyer. Um, I uh, wonder whether you might be prepared to use some other language to, dis to describe these disclosures. Can't I come to you and say that they are extremely concerned about a business and they've clearly told you that there might be re wider repercussions for the whole of the financial sector if that uh, business goes down. That's the phrase you used a moment ago. Uh, doesn't it cross your mind that there might be negative value in that business rather than positive value? value when this business was worth nothing, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> it's understandable that um, Lloyd's shareholders will feel they've been ripped off. They